all right guys so back with another x5 update i will be doing an oil filter housing gasket on it i don't think it's going to be a diy it's more going to be like a vlog because i'm in no rush to fix this thing and i'm just going to casually do it it might take me one day it might take me two day but let's get started on uh taking this thing apart and uh yeah <laughs> Give you guys a look at what I'm doing right now. As you can see, whoops. Um, oil filter housing is right there. Uh, what else needs to be removed? All the belts, because your alternator has to come out. This power steering reservoir has to move, and the pump, the power steering pump, also has to drop down because the uh, it's bolted onto the oil filter housing, so that's kind of annoying. I've done this once before with the uh, 318, so I'm kind of going in blind with the X5, but it shouldn't be impossible. I'm also going to be replacing the belts on it, on the X5, so you do not need to remove them the way I will, but I'm dropping both the AC and the serpentine for the main and AC Not sure if you'll be able to see this, but that's the reason why I was replacing the belts. This is probably original to the car. This is why if you look way down in there, I'm not sure if you'll see with the wide angle lens, but it's pretty kind of wet in there, so it's coming from the highest point, which is the oil filter housing. So that is why I'm going to be replacing the gasket.
Okay, so, you can't see anything right now. There's one alternator bolt there, or not alternator, car steering pump bolt there. I already removed it because I thought it was an alternator bolt, stupid me. There's another one right there, uh, right beneath the idler pulley tensioner, belt tensioner, something like that. And uh, right, oh, right under where my flashlight is illuminating, there's another bolt that you won't even be able to see. Then there's the one, two, three, four more bolts, five, maybe six bolts holding the oil filter housing onto the rest of the engine block. So I will try and remove those and hopefully I'll have an oil filter out.
Okay, took a little break because I was rushed to charge this charge this camera battery. So now we're back. As you can see, oil filter housing's out. Um, well, if you flip it around, there's a lot more, a lot more bolts than I initially thought. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you have seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, the idler pulley or the tensioner has to come out also. And back here you have a 19 millimeter banjo bolt for the Vanos oil line that also has to come out. Oops, made a little mess. So now, if we look in here, uh, there's the opening for the oil filter housing but all that pulled up oil I think has been leaking from the car as that is not what the Vanos line dripped out the Vanos line dripped out probably what you see in the back there but definitely not under here so time to clean it up and button everything back all right guys it's a few days later been driving this thing for about 120 miles or so just to check if I have any oil leaks left, as you can see down here. Uh, if you look past the boot, there's going to be a metal skid plate with a bunch of foam. Oil used to pull up there, but now it's pretty clean. Uh, the oil that you do see, if you can, is residual oil that I wasn't able to get clean. But there you go. The X5 is all buttoned up. Oil filter housing gaskets did solve my oil leak issue so there's your little vlog and a little update on the x5 it's driving well thanks for watching